Hi guys, it's me Yang and welcome back to my channel. Yes guys, as you can see, we've already hit the 1,000 subscribers on March 4, 2003. Yes guys, nag-notify sa akin ng Google at ang YouTube studio that I already hit my first 1,000 subscribers. So thank you, thank you so much guys sa lahat ng mga subscribers, sa lahat ng mga nanonood ng videos ko. I hope na lahat ng ginagawa ko ay natutulungan kayo. So yes guys, maraming maraming salamat po. And yes, as I promised, I am already giving a giveaway and I'm going to announce the three lucky winners at the later part of my video so please keep on watching and yes for today's video will be about computation okay yes guys I will never forget to upload this video this will be about computation yes um, and this computation is yung pinaha laging tinatanong sa board exam so yes guys so without further ado well, let's get started because i am very excited to announce actually magpipili pa lang ako ngayon ng three lucky winners ko guys so, nakita sa twitter na nag tweet ako about i'm going to choose the three lucky winners um i have changed my mind what are we going to do now is we are going to pick it right here okay habang nakikita nyo so without further ado let's get started because i am very excited so you know guys, a lot of medtech students, they took up the medtech course para maiwasan ang mathematics. But as you can see guys, sa medtech po ay may math pa rin. Yes guys, sa mga magtetake pa lang ng medtech course, okay, may math po ang medtech. Sinasabi ko na ngayon sa inyo, may math po ang medtech. Pero good news, dahil basic lang naman po ang math as sa medtech. So, ako guys, wala akong issue sa math. I love math, okay. I almost took up the course of accountancy. Okay, yun kasi yung gusto ng father ko, but I follow my heart. Kasi sabi niya, mag ka, mag ka. So, ayun, andito tayo nagpa-vlog. So, ayun guys. As you can see, okay, ready na po yung ballpen ko. So, i-ready nyo rin yung ballpen nyo dahil magsasolve tayo ngayon. So, before tayo guys, mag-proceed to computation, we should first learn yung mga pinaka-basic, which is the system of measurement. So, ito po guys, yung metric unit of measure. So, doon lang tayo sa mga pinaka-basic, which is the measure of length, the measure of weight, and the liquid measure. So, ito guys, kung paano i-convert yung one unit into another unit. So yes guys, kindly know this metric unit of measure. Sobrang importante nito guys. So next guys, we will now proceed to temperature scale. So we have Kelvin, Celsius, and Fahrenheit. So among the three guys, Celsius is the common use. While Kelvin is the base unit of temperature in international system of units. So ang Kelvin po ang SI. And then Fahrenheit naman is used in the US. So first guys, we are going to learn kung paano i-convert ang Kelvin to Celsius and Celsius to Kelvin. So first is yung Kelvin to Celsius. So the formula for this one guys is degree Celsius is equals to Kelvin minus 273. So for example, you have 373 Kelvin and you want to convert it into Celsius. So Degree Celsius is equals to 373 Kelvin minus 273 is equals to 100 degrees Celsius. So, ayun guys, may answer ka na for that one. So, next is how are you going to convert a Celsius to Kelvin? So, the formula for this one is Kelvin is equals to degree Celsius plus 273. So, for example, you have 100 degrees Celsius and you want to convert it into Kelvin. So, Kelvin is equals to 100 degrees Celsius plus 273. Then, you will have 373 Kelvin. So, next guys, we are going to learn on how to convert the Celsius to Fahrenheit and Fahrenheit to Celsius. So, dito guys, nakakalito siya. So, kailangan yung aralin ang formula. And for this, we have two formulas. So, first guys, mag-learn muna tayo on how are we going to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit. So, we have two formulas. So, the first formula guys is Fahrenheit is equals to Celsius times 1.8 plus 32. Second formula is Fahrenheit is equals to Celsius times 9 over 5 plus 32. 
So, either of the two formula, guys, ay pwede nyo gamitin. Pero ako, nasanay ako sa second formula. So, yun ang gagamitin natin ngayon, guys. So, example, guys, 37 degrees Celsius, convert it to Fahrenheit. So, we're going to use the second formula, guys, which is Fahrenheit is equals to 37 degrees Celsius times 9 over 5 plus 32. So, 37 degrees Celsius times 9 over 5, that is 66.6 plus 32, you will get 98.6 degree Fahrenheit. So next guys, we will learn on how to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius. So we also have two formula for this one. So first formula is Celsius is equals to Fahrenheit minus 32 times 0 0.556. Second formula is Celsius is equals to Fahrenheit minus 32 times 5 over 9. So example for this one guys, 98.6 Fahrenheit to Celsius. So for this one, we are going to use the second formula. So we have Celsius is equals to 98.6 Fahrenheit minus 32 times 5 over 9. So 98.6 minus 32 that is 66.6 times a 5 over 9 that is 37 degrees Celsius. So now guys, we will proceed to the concentration which is our main topic. So first we will learn about the expressing concentration. So we have milligram per deciliter that is the weight of solute per volume of solution. And then we have gram per gram that is the weight of solute per weight of solution. And then we have milliliter per liter that is volume of solute per volume of solution. So now, for concentration, we have molarity and normality. So we will first learn about molarity. So molarity, guys, is the number of moles of a substance in one liter of solution. So it is expressed concentration in terms of molecular weight. So in order for you to find for the molarity, we have a formula for that. So molarity is equals to grams of solute divided by molecular weight times liter. So example for that guys, we have 40 grams of sodium hydroxide and 500 ml of water. So we have the formula, we have the grams of solute, so that is 40 grams. We have 40 grams. And then divided by molecular weight. So molecular weight, guys, is X because we need to solve for that. And then times liter. So the given here is 500 ml. So 500 ml, you will convert it into liter. So that is 500 divided by 1000. So you will get 0 0.5 liter. So now we will look for the molecular weight. How are we going to look for molecular weight? You need to have the periodic table of elements, okay? Because the given chemical reaction here is sodium hydroxide. So guys, find the molecular weight of a compound used in the chemical reaction by looking up on the periodic table the molecular weights of each element and multiplying the number of the element in a compound before adding all the molecular weights together. So anong ibig sabihin niya guys? You will look for the element na ginamit sa chemical reaction. So we have sodium oxygen and hydrogen. At kung makikita nyo guys, okay, isang sodium, isang hydrogen, isang oxygen lang naman ang ginamit. So, what is the atomic weight of the sodium? That is 23. So, 23 times 1, that is 23. You will just multiply it guys by 1 dahil isang sodium lang naman ang ginamit. So, 23 times 1, that is 23. And then oxygen, 16 times 1, that is 16. And hydrogen, 1 times 1, that is 1. And then guys, you will add all the molecular weights together. So 23 plus 16 plus 1, you will have a molecular weight of 40. So now guys, given nang lahat, we can already look for the molarity. So molarity is equals to grams of solute, that is 40 grams, divided by the molecular weight, 40, times 0 0.5 liters. And you will have 2 moles of sodium hydroxide. 
So, ganun lang siya, guys, kadali. You just need to know yung mga atomic weights of each element. So, you will need to study the periodic table of elements. But don't worry, guys, don't go deeper. Dahil dito, kakabisaduhin nyo lang naman, guys, yung mga commonly na ginagamit. Such as sodium hydroxide, sodium chloride, what else? Sulfuric acid. So, next, guys, we will learn about normality. Normality is the number of equivalent of a substance in one liter of solution. So, it is expressed concentration in terms of equivalent weight. So, in order to find for the normality, my formula din tayo dito, guys. So, the formula is, normality is equals to grams divided by equivalent weight times liter. So, sa equivalent, guys, my formula po dito, which is, equivalent weight is equals to molecular weight over valence. So, what is a valence, guys? So, you need to find, guys, the valence in a compound. And valence refers to the number of hydrogen atoms that could bond with the compound. So, we have given problem here, guys. We have 30 grams of sulfuric acid and 1 liter of water. So, how are we going to solve for the normality? So, we have grams, which is 30 grams. And then, we have equivalent weight. So, we will solve for the equivalent later, then times 1 liter of water. So, for equivalent weight, guys, it is molecular weight over valence. So, you will need to look for the molecular weight of the chemical reaction. So, the used element here is hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen. So, H2SO4 po, guys, ang formula niya. So, hydrogen it has an atomic weight of 1. So, 1 times 2. 2 because dalawang hydrogen atoms ang gamit. So, 1 times 2, that is 2. And then, we have sulfur that is 32 times 1. So, 32. And then, we have oxygen, 16. 16 times 4. So, that is 64. So, you will add all the molecular weights together. So, you will have the molecular weight of 98. Now, you will look for the equivalent weight. So, that is 98 divided by 2. So, 2 here, guys, is the valence. Okay? It means it has a 2 hydrogen atoms that bond with the compound. So, the equivalent weight here is 49. So, now, given ang lahat, you can already solve for the normality. So, normality is equal to 30 grams divided by 49 times 1. So, you will have a normality of 0.612 sulfuric acid. So now guys, we will go to the conversion between the molarity and normality. So first, we will learn on how to convert the molarity to normality. So if you already know the molarity of an acid or base solution, you can easily convert it to normality by multiplying it sa hydrogen ions. So for example, we have 2 moles times 1, so you will have 2 normality of sodium hydroxide. So now guys, we will learn naman on how to convert the normality to molarity. So just the same, if you already know the normality of an acid or base solution, you can easily convert it to the molarity. But here, you will divide it by the number of the hydrogen ions. So for example, you have 0.6 normality. So you will divide it by the number of the hydrogen ions. So, 0.6 normality divided by 2, then you will have 0.3 normality of sulfuric acid. So, guys, ganun lang siya kadali. If nalilito kayo sa molarity and normality, you can just go back and watch this video again. So, I hope may natutunan kayo and maa-apply nyo to sa board exam niyo guys. Thank you, thank you so much guys for watching. And now, we are going to announce for the 3 lucky winners. So, yes guys, from my last video, I have announced that I am going to have a giveaway once I reach the 1,000 subscribers. And yes, on March 4, 2020, the Google notified me that I have already hit the 1,000 subscribers. And yes, as I promised, I am going to have my giveaway. So, sa instruction ko guys, nasabi ko na first, you have to subscribe on my channel, which is my YouTube channel, and give my videos a thumbs up, and then um, comment down below your name with the last three letters, R and D. 
Second is sa Instagram. So sa Instagram guys, is you have to screenshot my video and tag me on your story. And then on Twitter naman guys, is you have to follow me on Twitter and retweet my tweet. But unfortunately guys, may nag-follow ng instructions sa YouTube pero hindi pinalo yung sa Twitter and sa Instagram. So now I have decided that I am just going to divide the giveaway into my free social platforms. So sa YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. So I have my three lucky winners for the free giveaways. So yes guys, so first... Um, sa YouTube na muna tayo guys for those who are subscribed on my channel and give my videos a thumbs up and also comment that down their name with the three last letter R and D. So my first giveaway is sa YouTube guys. Napakita ko na sa inyo guys yung first giveaway ko which is the on the go review notes. So we have this one. So yung makakatanggap nito guys is yung mga gumawa ng instructions sa YouTube. Okay? As you can see, I have already my container. Pasensya na kayo sa container, but yes, as you can see, this is the YouTube winners. So, I have your names here, guys. So, we just have to mix it. So, the lucky winner for YouTube winner and who will get the on-the-go review note is... Let's open it. Sino kaya to? Oh my God! It's Flitz Ian Camiao. I don't know how to pronounce it, but the name niya po nakalagay dito, Flitz Ian Gamiao. So you are the lucky winner for YouTube and you are the one who will get this on the go review note. So congratulations Flitz Ian Gamiao. Okay, so yes guys, now let's go to the second winner for my second giveaway. So yung second giveaway ko guys, napakita ko na sa inyo, which is this one. This is the Life Saver Watch. So yun guys, open na siya and once you open, you will see the watch and it's color red because we are medtech so red ang pinili ko sa inyo guys. So ang makakatanggap nito guys is yung sa Instagram winners. So yung mga nag-follow na yung instructions sa Instagram. So I have the names here. Okay. May mga lima. Limang gumawa ng instructions sa for Instagram. So let's mix guys. Who is the lucky winner for Instagram? So let's choose. Dito na siya, guys. So let's open. Let's open. Let's open. And it's Jaya Paredes. So Jaya Paredes, congratulations because you are the lucky winner for the Instagram, and you are the one who will get this life saver watch. Congratulations, Jaya Paredes. Thank you so much. So now, let's proceed to the Twitter winner. And now, for the last giveaway, I am going to give a highlighter. So this is a Stabila highlighter in four colors. So ibibigay ko siya sa lucky winner sa Twitter. And sa Twitter, guys, isa lang naman ang gumawa ng instruction. Kaya mag-isa lang siya dito. So bubunutin na lang natin siya. So yes. So, at for the win, congratulations, you are the lucky winner for the Twitter. So, thank you so much for following the instruction for Twitter and you will get these highlighters from Stabilo. So, for the three lucky winners, we have sa YouTube, it's Flitz Ian Gamiao, and then sa Instagram, Jaya Parades, and sa Twitter, at for the win, as soon as makita nyo guys ang video na to, kindly message me your full name, contact number, and address kung saan ko masiship ang giveaway, okay, on my email account, which is tayanaraanil at gmail.com. So yes guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. To be updated on me, please follow me on my Twitter account at Anil Dayanara. Okay, so don't worry guys because I will be uploading more videos and videos. So to be updated on my video, click the notification bell so you will be updated once I post a new one. So thank you so much. Bye! See you in my next one!